In this video, we'll show you how to use the Modbus Gateway feature in EB Pro for any basic, advanced, or smart HMI from Maple Systems. The Modbus Gateway feature allows you to serve up data to a Modbus master device or a SCADA system when your PLC doesn't support Modbus communication itself. This allows you to convert the communication protocol of your PLC to the Modbus protocol. In this sample project in EB Pro, we have an Allen Bradley PLC5 communication driver set up, as well as a Modbus gateway driver, which the device type is Modbus RTU TCP slave. So let's look at the device settings for this. If we select Modbus RTU TCP slave and set it to Ethernet, then we can enable this gateway feature. From the Address Mapping Tables button here, we can define the rules for translating between our PLC addresses and the Modbus Gateway device. For example, in the Allen Bradley PLC5, there is Register and Discrete Memory. We'll map the status registers to Modbus 3x addresses and make them read-only. This will be our first rule. For the second rule, we'll map N7 integer data registers in the PLC5 to Modbus 4x holding or output registers. They'll be read and write. Next, we'll take an I1 input bit in the PLC and we'll map this to a 1x Modbus address that will be read only. Finally, we'll take an O0 output bit from the PLC and map this to a 0x output bit in Modbus terms. So when you know what you want to map to Modbus, then you can come in here and click on Address Mapping Tables to set up your rules. To start, we have the Status Registers rule. So we're going from the S register in the PLC to a Modbus 3x address. You'll set an initial starting address in Modbus and define how many words worth of data you wish to set up in the table size setting there. Next, the N7 register from the PLC. We're going to map to the Modbus gateway. Make this read and write, and we'll make it available starting at the 4x1 address. Again, 255 words of data as a table size. Now we have these two rules set up for register data that our master or SCADA system could access looking at the Modbus gateway device. Next, looking at the I1 inputs, these bits in the PLC5 will make them read only and readable from the 1x1 Modbus address to start. For this data format, we have to do a 0, 0, 0. We have a decimal and bit value, so table size there is larger. And similarly for the output bits in the PLC, the O0, we're going to map these to the Modbus gateway device, make them read-write, set them to 0x1 to start, and we will go ahead and set up the same range so we'll have access to all of the O0 bits in the PLC just like we did for the I1 bits. Now we'll click OK since we've set up our rules and click OK here. Again, we added the PLC driver first and then the Modbus slave driver before setting up these gateway rules. On this window, you see these rules written out so that you can see examples. So a S0 will be mapped to a 3x1 in the gateway. For N7, read write. That's going to be mapped from the PLC to 4x1 to begin. And back, you could go the same direction to write back to the PLC from this numeric object. Next, the input bits I1. These are read-only. As an example, we set up a bit lamp just showing that you could see the status of the bit from this window or from your SCADA system if you point it at that address. For the O0 bits, same idea here. And this you could set as a toggle switch to toggle that if you want. Now you'll probably want to add a Modbus Gateway IP address to your project and let's see how this looks in offline simulation mode. So you see those numeric 
objects coming up and these bits and then a IP address can be displayed. You just need to point your Modbus master or SCADA system now at that IP address to be able to read and write that data as we've defined in those mapping rules. Now some things to keep in mind, you do need to know in advance what address ranges from the PLC you want to map to Modbus registers. In our case we chose two numeric data types or register types and two boolean or bit type addresses in the PLC and we made the full range of PLC registers available for each of these data types. This feature is designed to work with data in the PLC that is in consecutive registers. This will not work with a free tags based PLC or a symbolic addressing type of PLC. You must use a register based or absolute addressing type of PLC if you wish to use the Modbus gateway feature. If you have questions about this, we would encourage you to check out the resources in our support center at maplesystems.com. We have a tech note that walks you through this, as well in the EB Pro manual, we have a chapter called Modbus TCP IP Gateway that describes this feature and how to set it up. Thanks for choosing Maple Systems. Until next time.